A lot of men tell me about discomfort, anxiety, tension, or even pain they at times experience when the woman gets on top in bed. This is because a lot of women lack awareness, knowledge, and skill to ride a man well. So if you'd like to learn exactly what to do to ride him like a goddess, keep watching. My name is Helena Nista and I make videos that help you have the best sex of your life and today we're unpacking all the skills necessary to ride a man like a pro. I had an interesting chat with a new lover lately. He commented on how comfortable he felt with me being on top in bed. I asked him why he said that, which started a very interesting conversation. This actually reminded me of many guys I've worked with before in my sessions. Some of them would tell me that they struggle to orgasm when the woman is on top, or that they have difficulty relaxing and letting go in this position, etc. And the reason why that happens is usually because the man worries that she could hurt him or even snap his penis in half while she's riding him. Which brought me to a powerful insight that many, many women don't actually know how to ride a man well. Or if they do know, they find it tricky to do and shy away from it. Or, worse still, they get different ideas from porn and popular media and try to implement techniques that might look great on the screen but don't actually work well in the bedroom. This is why today I'm going to share with you my 10 best tips and practices for riding a man. Some of these ideas come from my own experiences, many come from conversations with my clients and some others from my lovers. So get ready to have a ride of your life while learning to ride him masterfully. Number one, forget everything you learned about sex from porn. Porn is a tool of entertainment. It was never meant to educate. So don't treat it as a source of knowledge or skills and move on to better sources of sexual education like for example my videos, my online courses and many many sexual education books available online. I like variety in bed and I like to change things up. Plus, it can get a bit boring if you just keep doing the same thing over and over again. So when it comes to positioning my body, I usually start on my knees and then at some point I'll move on to my feet and sort of crouch on top of him. Sometimes I also like to keep one leg down on my knee and the other one up on my foot. This allows me to play with different angles and gives me more support for my body. And when it comes to the position of your hands, there are many ways to do it, so experiment. You can put them on his chest, you can caress his face, you can grab his hands and pin them down above his head, or you can caress yourself, you can touch your body, your chest, your face, you can put your hands in your hair, or you can lean back and put them on his legs. When you're moving on top of him, he's in a fairly vulnerable position, so stay sensitive to his needs. If you're moving too vigorously, you might actually hurt him. And most guys think that it's unmanly to ask the woman to slow down. After all, great sex is fast and furious, right? Wrong. Or rather, wrong at times. Fast and furious can be great, but not if you're hurting him and he's worried that you'll break his cock. Which brings me to the next point. Slow down. The best sex happens when lovers tease each other, when they take their time and when they play with pleasure. Going for gold can be enjoyable at times, but if you really want to show him paradise, slow down and play his body like an instrument. You really don't need to make him come too fast. Instead, tease him with your pussy. Both of you will enjoy it much more if you allow the experience to last. A lot of women struggle with poor body image, so it can be extra confronting to be fully seen by your partner when you're naked on top of him. But instead of worrying about your body's size, shape, smell, color, etc., learn to accept, love and enjoy your body. A woman who finds her own body delicious and sensual, who delights in her own pleasure, is mesmerizing to men and much more appealing than a size zero model. Don't ride him for his pleasure alone. Take care of your own needs as well. Try moving in different ways and find out what works for you. Some options include moving your body up and down his shaft, leaning forward on top of his chest and moving your body horizontally while rubbing your cleat against his pubic bone. Keeping him fully inserted into your vagina while you roll, thrust and move your hips in different shapes and directions shallow thrusting so that only a third or so of his cock goes inside you. Playing with different depths of thrusting. Reaching back with your hand to stroke his balls while you're riding him, etc. See also how much you can actually enjoy taking control here and riding him with all the enthusiasm, pleasure and passion that you have. Ladies, don't forget your clit. Riding him on top is a fantastic position to reach and play with your gorgeous little pearl. 
This can be done with your own fingers, with his fingers, with his pubic bone or with a toy. And if you're using fingers, keeping a quality lube nearby can be a great idea. I will link my personal favorite lubricant in the description below. Being on top of him offers you a great opportunity to remain very connected with each other. Holding a lot of eye contact can feel really intimate and arousing. Looking his body up and down can be also wonderful, admiring his body both with your eyes and with your hands through a loving touch. And slow down until you both find the right rhythm together. Make sure to also tell your honey what you're enjoying the most about this entire experience and encourage him to do the same for you. Being on top of him in bed allows you to get kinky, so how about tying him up first? You can get a bondage set or use scarves to secure his hands to the bed head. You can even tie his feet to the bed if you wish. And if he consents, of course. Pull out your favorite vibrator and stimulate his nipples, his chest, his inner thighs, his balls. Grab a feather tickler, a silky scarf, a gentle flogger and give his body some extra stimulation. You can also blindfold him and then ride him, which will cause all of his awareness to stay and remain in his body, heightening his sensations. Make sure to ask for his feedback, particularly if anything that you're doing feels uncomfortable to him. I find that this position is wonderful to give my men also a bit of a show. I love dancing and stripping sensually while my lover is devouring me with his eyes. And being on top allows me a similar opportunity to turn on my inner seductress. I like to move my body sensually, to caress my lips, my breasts, my nipples, my neck with my hands, to stimulate myself with a vibrator and to moan with pleasure and delight. All of that gives me pleasure and increases his arousal and excitement. And now it's time to go, invite your lover to your bedroom, get on top of him and give him the most sensational riding of his life. Please let me know in the comments below which tips you feel most intrigued by and which ones you're planning to try, maybe even all of them. And if you'd like even more tips, techniques and advice to awaken your inner sexual goddess, check out my online course for women, Orgasmic Empowerment. It's absolutely full of my most effective, powerful and blissful tools and practices. I've linked the course in the description below. Please also make sure to like, comment and subscribe. This really helps me and my channel grow and expand and reach more people. Thank you so much for watching and for engaging with me in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you have to say now and after playing with all the techniques from the video. Good luck, have fun and see you next time.